Hello everybody, this is Naomi. Uh, today I'm doing a Michaels haul. Uh, I picked up a couple of notepads, or scrapbooking pads that had um, buy one, get two free. So I seen one Christmas one and two Halloween ones that I like. But to start off, I found this crow. I had been looking for a crow for um, a Halloween DIY, so I will be coming back to do that, but here is the crow that I picked up. So I'm going to do a quick thumb through on the paper pads, isn't that pretty? And then there's some cups, there's that one. And then this one, the it has texture to it. It's like an embossing on it. Then you have the holly. This one's cute. This one's cute. I like it. It'll go in my sign for Christmas. Then we got all the snowmen and the snow deer and birds. And there's this one with the mittens and all the borders and if you look real closely the the borders have some shimmer to them and here's some more um, poinsettias isn't this one cute there's snow place like home and then this one has the the embossing on it as well. Now look at these tags. Aren't they cute? And that's exactly what I'm going to use them for too is Christmas tags. And there's two pages of those. And I like that they left some of them open to where you could make your own tags. And then there's snowflakes. This one to me is a little busy, but you could always just cut out certain ones and make them as embellishments. Here's some green. And then you got gift boxes. And this is a brownish looking color. My daughter's going to love this because I'm going to do some kind of a, some kind of a project with this for her. There's two of those. Then you got more snowflakes. And then this pattern. Then you got all your cutout pieces. And it's got um, embossing glitter in certain places. Here, here. Love that big tag. There's two of those. And then look here. This is what I thought was neat. You could use each one of these as random cutouts for a project. Isn't that neat? And there's two pages of that too. So there's the Christmas one. Now the Halloween one. And this is just says Halloweeny. So I really like this one. Um it kind of goes with the one that I got a couple of years ago that's got the pastel colors. There's the witch. And then this one has the gold foiling. This one has the gold foiling. And then these are just bones. See, here we go. See how it's got the pastel colors in it? And here's some more of that pastel colors. I really need to shut my blind so you can see better. And then here's a cauldron with mushrooms and skull, pumpkin. Here's a bat page. And here's a book page. And then there's just some red stripes 
here's some more of those butterflies or moths I might say and look at this isn't that cute when I seen this one all kinds of ideas went in my head so there's that one and you got the moon with that one and then the stars and pumpkins now here's one that I thought was cute cut out each one of these apothecary bottles and use them as Halloween embellishments on different things that is just neat there's some blue stripes there's some bats and I love these candles And then this one is just like this with the border of the spiders. Here's some borders. Here's an eye page. Another page with bones. And then you got like the cutout pages for this one. Isn't that cool? And that's the last page in it. So then we have this one. And it has a lot of the gold foiling in it. This one doesn't have any, but it sure looks like it. Then you got the spiders and the webbings. Here's one with the gold foiling. And you got some black and white stripes. More of the. And then this page with the borders. I like that. That's all in the, the gold. Then you got some caskets. Now look at this one. Can you imagine using a project? Uh, my first thoughts was, was trying to figure out how you could do a half face and it looked like it's coming out of the picture frame. I will figure that one out. So there's another project in the waitings. Here's some spiders. And these are little skulls. Here's some more skulls. Oops. And then this is just a, a black page that goes into a, it's a fade out. Here's the spider one with the gold foiling. These are just stars with the marble background. Now look at this one. I've already got an idea for this one. I do, I do, I do, I do. I think it will look neater than anything whenever I get done with it. So, and then you got the moons. Here's one with the gold foiling. Isn't that neat? Then you got a black P or black lines. And you got bats. And then. The last page. Nope. Oh, I thought that was the last. And you got the gold fooling pumpkins. No, we actually got another one. More stars. Now that's the last page. And I did pick up one thing from Five Below. Uh, my daughter's friend was telling me about them. Uh. She buys these erasable uh, pens, and she says that you get anywhere else, you get like five in a pack for like seven bucks. So I picked these up to try them to see if I'm going to like them or not. Um, let's just try them out real quick. Because like I said, I've never used them. 
and I'm curious. So let me find a piece of paper and we'll check them out. Okay, so this one is a kind of a blue color. I like the idea that the lid snaps on. Oh, smooth. Uh, well, it does erase. And it don't leave. See, it does erase. So that's that's a good thing because you could use it. However, and then this one's a a lighter blue. It's a fine point pen. So I like them. And here's the purple one. They've got them in different colors as well. I like that. Smooth. This would be one you could use in your... Um, um, planners. But they do erase, so that's a good thing. So that's all I have for now. If you like my video, hit the like and subscribe. Help me keep crafting and help me keep growing. Thank you and have a blessed day.